what is up everybody welcome back to the channel welcome to another video and today we are doing some wrenching on the volvo please like share subscribe let's get into this All right, so we are just going to jump into this. Uh, it's Valentine's Day. My daughters are at the house, and so I need to get this done as soon as possible. But I didn't order, this didn't get delivered till today. So we are replacing the DEF doser valve, which is right here behind this plate on the passenger side of my Volvo. So I know this is a common occurrence with well, Volvos and quite a few other things, but it does a thing where it's SCR performance low, right? And usually you have to do a regen um, on Friday, so two days ago. On the 12th, uh, the check engine light came on first, or the actual engine light, and then the check engine light, and it temporarily locked me out, and so I had to have TA run up to where I was at on I-15 in Utah and unlock it and put it into a forced regen because I wasn't able to do a regen by myself. And so when I was talking to him, he said that in the system, when he was hooked up to the truck running everything, it actually said the reason for the occurrence was this doser valve uh, just dropped below operating pressure or well you know just the operating specifications i guess is what i'm trying to say so when it dipped below the operating specifications then it threw my truck into you know the whole five mile an hour d rate all that kind of nonsense whatnot and so um at first i was thinking that it was my uh knock sensors so you have two knock sensors you have an inlet which is here this one and you have an outlet which is right there on the back side of the exhaust pipe coming out and so i was going to replace those until i talked to him and he's like oh no he's like it's not your knock sensors it's your def doser valve is what caused the issue which is this so that's what I ordered, that's what we're replacing. Hopefully that does the trick. With my problems being out there, <laughs> what we need to do is we need to remove this shield here. You can also remove this cross member if you want. Uh, this cross member is just held on by a bolt on either side. And then this just has a couple here. And uh, well, it looks like it has four on that side and one or two on this side so and then we'll probably have to take this off as well and then zip tie it back on but anyways let's get to it because the DEF doser valve is right there you can see it down in there so that's what we are replacing all right y'all I lied apparently I don't need to take off as much as I thought I did ah sorry I ate right before I came over, so all this bending over is not doing any good. So, anyways, there's just the first two bolts here and here on the, well, the front side, if you will, or your right-hand side. And then all I did was bust that one right there loose. And then I was able just to pull this, you know, just swivel it out. And so I can get to what I need to get to right here fairly simple so so all that holds this in is there's three bolts this little electrical and then this one and then these are coolant lines I believe which are supposed to uh, drain your coolant first but I'm hoping that maybe I can just pop them off pop them back on real fast and not lose too much coolant because like I said I'm kind of not in a time crunch but it is valentine's day and i told my daughters we'd go to dinner tonight and it's already 3 30 in the afternoon but here i am so let's get this started 
uh, we'll get this one off and we'll get the new one on and we'll fire her up and see what she says i might have to take it to volvo and get the engine codes uh erased and then see how she goes but we'll see yep i think we can pretty much write this one off so that's what it looks like inside after i took it off it's still connected to the one two lines but yeah i don't think that thing's doing too much dosing right now so and then we are sitting here leaking def fluid a little bit but let's get that we have to take out this little metal ring so if you look on the new one it has the little metal ring here so we gotta pop that out clean everything up a little bit and then let's put the new one on so and to get this these clips off if you've never done these one style before this little white horseshoe thing pinch those two ends together so you want to grab both sides like this and pinch them towards each other and it'll pop that off so and then these ones you just push this little yellow button and pull those ones off but all right let's get this done I got tools out all over the damn place around here. I was using tools from, I have this cheap tool set and then the other tool sets over there and this bag that has tools in it. You can never have a shortage of tools on your truck, especially if you fix your truck yourself, like I do the majority of the time. Like I said, I might have to get the engine light and stuff turned off. So I think it's a permanent light. But we can look at the codes real fast if you guys want. Oh, if I can reach it. Let me climb up here. So the codes, well, I have a brake light out. That's one of them. Check engine fault. Go down here to diagnostics. View active faults, engine ECU. So it's this 5394 FMI 17 is the one code that it still has, but this should fix that, so. Uh, I might just have to swing by the Volvo dealership and get the code erased. So, more to come, but let's jump out and check and make sure everything's golden on the other side. Alrighty, I don't see any leaks over here other than the mess I made. I'm not sure how long it takes for this thing to activate or any of that kind of stuff either. So we're gonna think it's good. Uh, if I have an issue with it, I'll let you guys know. But essentially that's the reason why I was getting the SCR low performance and then put me into regens was that doser valve. So it was 200 and something dollars off of Amazon. I literally ordered it yesterday and it's here today. So, simple fix. Hopefully that is the case. I will keep you updated. Thank you guys all for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video.